that's the, the definition of a girl is when you are caught having sex intercourse with a guy and then he caught me. Hello viewers, it's good to have you on another edition of our weekly program, Busted, here on Flip TV. This program brings us reports on crimes and investigative stories, and also the efforts of security agencies in dealing with law offenders in our society. I'm your host, Gladys Aloze. Let's take a look at the report we have today. What's the definition of a gay is when you are caught having sex in circles with a guy and then he caught you. An Ikeja Chief Magistrate Court in Lagos State on Tuesday, March 21, 2023, ordered that a 36-year-old man, Roland Okajare, be remanded in a correctional center for allegedly defiling his 18-year-old daughter. The police charged Okajare with one count of defilement. The prosecutor, ASP Keinde Ajayi, told the court that Okajare committed the offense on January 4 in his shop at the Ekotun bus stop, Lagos State. The magistrate, Mrs. E. Kubenje, ordered that he should be remanded in Krikri Custodial Center. Kubenje, who referred the case filed to the Lagos State Director of Public Prosecution, DPP, adjoined the case to April 12, 2023. A woman and her Nigerian boyfriend were arrested with drugs by members of the East London Tactical Response Team, CROT, in Eastern Cape, South Africa. The provincial spokesperson for the Directorate for Priority Crime Investigation, Hawks, Captain Yolisa Ngolodila, in a statement on Wednesday, March 22nd, said Promise Uchechuku, 29, and his girlfriend, Anihel Sikade, 27, were arrested on Saturday, March 18. He said the investigation was taken over by the East London-based South African Narcotics Enforcement Bureau of the Serious Organized Crime Investigation Team of the Hawks. It is alleged that on March 18, members attached to TROT discovered a large quantity of drugs, ammunition, and firearm while searching a house in the Kuba administrative area in Butterworth. They arrested one suspect, Ngolodila stated. On the same day, they received further information that the drug dealer from East London who supplied the suspect with drugs was on his way to Butterworth for another delivery. The members had a description of the vehicle which normally used to deliver the drugs and kept observation on the number two near Komga when they noticed a suspicious vehicle. She said the vehicle was stopped and searched. Upon searching the vehicle, five packets of teak were found hidden under the passenger seat. The driver and his girlfriend were arrested for dealing in drugs. 500 gram packet of teak to the street value of 75,000 ram and a Ford Escort worth 80,000 ram were seized during the arrest. The couple appeared in the Comga Magistrate Court on Monday, March 20. Their case was, however, postponed until March 28 for a bail application. The Hawk stated that more arrests were imminent as the investigation continued. Two men identified as Toheb Jimo, 26, and Habib Ishola, aged 35, have been arrested by men of the Lagos State Police Command for allegedly stealing a Nissan Rogue belonging to the U.S. Embassy. According to the spokesperson of the State Police Command, SP Benjamin Honden, a report was filed that a truck conveying the brand new Nissan Rogue belonging to the U.S. Embassy was driven away from where it was sparked by some assonance. While acting on the report, the police began a full-scale investigation that led to the arrest of the suspect as well as the recovery of the truck. The suspect we arrested when negotiating to sell the whole truck and its content for 5 million naira. Hondain said the truck is presently at the state headquarters in Ikeja. The Federal High Court sitting in Lagos and Ogun State has sentenced six drug traffickers to a total of 156 years imprisonment for offenses bordering on drug dealing transportation and conspiracy to transport illicit substances filed against them by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency and DLEA. Wase Heat is a 27-year-old drug dealer, Ahmed Abdul Sabo, who was arrested in 2022 by NDLEA operatives and prosecuted in charge number FSC slash AB slash 20C slash 2022 at the Federal High Court Abiyokuta presided over by Honorable Justice Joyce Obehe Abdomalik. Delivering her judgment on the six-count charge brought against Ahmed, Justice Abdomalik convicted and sentenced him to 10 years imprisonment on each count, bringing the total number of his jail time to 60. In a similar ruling, Justice Abdomalik also sentenced another dealer, Olumide Elegwede, 32, to 20 years jail time, 10 years for each of the two-count charge brought against him, in charge number 
FSC slash AB slash 12SC slash 21. The judge ruled that years of the imprisonment in both cases will run concurrently. At the Federal High Court in Lagos, we are the quartet of Oketuku Ume Lanre Adebayo, Adegu Adeshino, and Emmanuel Omeje, we are reigned on three counts in charge number FSC slash 87C slash 2023. The trial judge, Justice Akintayo Aluko, on Thursday, March 16, convicted and sentenced each of them to five years on count one, seven years each on count two and three. This brings the number of years for each of them to 19 years jail time and the four of them to 76 years imprisonment while the judge ruled that the sentence should run concurrently. He also gave the four convicts the option of paying 20 million naira in lieu of the jail times. This is in addition to granting the application by the NDLEA for the final forfeiture of a white color Ford bus with rage number BHC 315ZT used in conveying 532.8 kilograms of loud variant of cannabis on the day of the arrest, Sunday 22nd January 2023, along Lagos Ibadan Expressway. The court also granted a final forfeiture of 3 million naira offered as bribe by the convicts to NDLE officers. The drugs conceived with white takeaway food packs in 19 big cartons were seized in the white Ford bus heading to Port Harcourt River State along Lagos Ibadan Expressway at 2.35 a.m. on Sunday, 22nd January. The convict Okechuku Ume, 41, Lanre Adebayo, 47, Adeshino Adegun, 50, and Emmanuel Omeje, 42, were arrested in connection with the seizure and 3 million naira offered as bribe kept as part of the SBIT for their prosecution. To have once been a criminal is no disgrace, but to remain a criminal, that is the disgrace. Remember that crime is evil. Be a good cop patriot and stay away from it. Till I come your way next time, I remain your host, Gladys Aluze. Do what to follow us on all our social media platforms, on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, on Twitter. Thanks for watching. What's the definition of a gay is when you are caught having sexual intercourse with a guy and then it comes to me.